Hello everyone, and in this video, I will be going over more on cameras. Now, last video, we got a simple orthographic view, all set up, ready for us to go. And I also had you guys do an exercise. And if you couldn't do it, that's all right. The solution is being shown now. And the exercise was to translate the box to the right a little. And to do this, over where we have our matrix scale, and we have it set to a new matrix 4f dot scale, go ahead and organize the code a little bit by moving dot scale down just a little bit, and add dot translate new vector 3f and we'll go ahead and translate this to 100 to the right 0 and 0 and this should translate our box to the right so now let's get started on the camera class I'm going to create a new class camera and camera is going to hold a couple of private variables and it's going to have a private vector 3f position and a private matrix 4f projection now the reason why we have a position is so we can move our camera around the world with more ease instead of having to find it within our game and do all that stuff we can just get access to our camera and set position from there so we are still going to be using the orthographic projection and which is one reason why we have the matrix for f projection otherwise it wouldn't be very much of a camera and if you wish to adapt this to a more 3d camera you may. All you have to do is change the parameters around for the camera to your likings and how the projection is initialized. And that's pretty much it for that. So, since we're using a 2D orthographic camera, all we have to take in for our parameters is an int width and an int height. So let's go ahead and set position to a new vector 3f, setting it all to 0. And go ahead and set projection to a new matrix 4f dot set ortho 2d. Now we're using set ortho 2d because ortho 2d actually creates two matrix two matrix 4f's and multiplies them together and if we just use set ortho 2d we're only creating one and using that one so we're saving some resources by not multiplying a couple of matrices together so for the left it will be negative width divided by 2 the right will be width divided by 2 bottom will be negative height divided by 2 and top will be height divided by 2 now like last video this is creating the perspective for our camera and the origin of where everything will be at so if our quad was set to an X of zero and a Y of zero, it'll be dead center of our window. And if we didn't have uh, these two variables here, the left and the top, well, our origin would be at the top left of the screen. Okay. Now that that's finished, we can go ahead and 
create a public void set position, which will take in a vector 3f of position. And we can go ahead and do this.position equals position. And we can also create another method, if you wish, this is optional, add position, vector 3f position, and we can use this.position.add position. You can add this if you wish. You're probably not going to need it, but you can go ahead and add it if you wish. And create a public vector 3f get position. And this will return our position. Now all that's left is to create a public matrix 4f. And this will be for returning our projection. But we're not going to be returning this exactly. We need to create a couple of matrix 4Fs and multiply projection and one of the matrix we create into another matrix. So we'll, to explain it better, I'll go along as we type. So of course we'll create two of our matrix 4Fs and I'll call one target and I'll call the other one pos. And pos is going to use dot set translation to position. All that's left to do is to do target equals projection dot multiply with pos and the destination will be target. So we create a matrix 4F for the target and another one for our position. Then we set target to the projection multiplied by the position. And we can go ahead and return target. And that should be it for the camera class. I'm actually going to rename that get projection. And all that's left to do is in the main class, create a camera. And this is going to take in the width and height of our window. So 640 and 480. And all that's left to do is to do cam camera, sorry, camera get projection and multiply it with target. So we get our camera projection with the position as well, multiplied with what we are using now. So I'm going to get rid of our current projection and get rid of the multiplication as well and set target to scale in every loop. Otherwise you'll get some pretty crazy effects to something weird or you just not seeing anything on the screen at all. So make sure you're set in target to scale after every loop. 
So after this, we should have our same box and we can do camera dot set position new vector 3f and let's go ahead and get the box back to the center mine negative 100 0 0 now the box is back in the center I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video.